I just come across this video on Facebook. I decide to share this video with you guys, please. If you know that you have somebody in the hospital, don't leave that person alone. And uh, maybe the doctors, especially in Africa, maybe the doctors or the nurses will convince you, Madam, go home and bring something to, for your wife or your husband. I would like you to watch this video to the end. And you will see the reason why I said, never you leave your loved ones all alone in the hospital. Okay, leave, uh, watch it and tell me what you think about this video. Okay? Guys, don't leave your loved ones alone, lying down unconscious in the hospital. Especially when they don't know anything that's happening around them. Don't leave them alone. When doctors or nurses or the medical practitioners come to administer medication to them, injections, drip or anything, ask questions. Ask them, what are you giving to them? What is it for? What is the work? Ask questions and don't leave them alone. Now, this is the story of my hairstylist. She said she almost lost her life giving birth to her last child. After the whole operation and everything, they came and gave her an injection. And thank God for her sister-in-law who was by her side. Her breathing changed. And the sister-in-law noticed that she's no longer breathing properly. Went out, called the nurses, and they were like, you didn't take her serious, you know. You know how do these people behave. They didn't take her serious. They were like, she's going to react now, relax. This lady's breathing was going from bad to worse. Her sister-in-law had to start making, shouting in the hospital, carrying phone, if anything happened to my sister, you people, you know, kind of making troubles and the rest. These people still know answer this woman, though. They did not even answer her. Until that lady said that jacking. Said that jacking, unfortunately, one doctor was go where and um, was entering her her ward and saw her, and that was how they followed her up with everything, oxygen and the rest. Apparently, they had given her a wrong injection. <laughs> they had given her a wrong injection. Can, do you see? Can you see? Just imagine her sister was not there. Just imagine that there was no one there to raise alarm notice that her breathing was changing that's how this that's how this lady would have just her enemy would have just died like that and even after she recovered her body was peeling like peeling that's the, reacting to that injection that first injection they had given to her don't leave your loved ones alone and if anybody comes to give injection or anything ask them questions these people can be rude sometimes but you self no grief no agree ask question they should tell you what the injection is for they should tell you what the drip is for they should tell you how long if it's going to make the person unconscious if it's going to make the person weak for how ask questions and don't leave your loved ones if you go with your wife to the labor ward don't leave her until she is fine don't leave her stay with her and notice everything that is going on because these things just happen like within seconds